Good morning, hockey fans. Chris Terrell here with RotoPros.com to bring you my DFS NHL Jagerbomb Shots of the Night for Monday, December 16th. We're going to start off with the matchups tab. We're going to give a little uh, overview of the sheet uh, for anyone that is new or maybe looking to catch up on the cheat sheet itself. So on the matchups tab, we got all the matchups of the night. Uh, looking at back to back three and fours, we got Vegas information. We've got team offense uh, split up into home and road as well. A little bit more advanced with scoring chances, high danger scoring chances, special teams, maybe power play and penalty kill, and then your team record. So on tonight's five game slate, we've got the Florida Panthers minus 210 favorites against the Ottawa Senators. We've got the Nashville Predators as minus 140 favorites going into New York to face the Rangers. The Washington Capitals are minus 165 favorites going into Columbus to face the Blue Jackets. Colorado Avalanche and St. Louis Blues are almost to pick them. St. Louis is a minus 118 home favorite. And then you got the Dallas Stars minus 200 home favorites against the Edmonton Oilers tonight. <clears throat> So in this video, what I'm going to do is go over just a couple core plays at each position. If you want more, this sheet is updated with GPP plays, value plays throughout the day um, in our Roto Pros chat, as well as on the cheat sheet. We've got news feeds in there as well, so make sure to get in and check that out. If you're not a member yet, make sure to get over to rotopros.com, get your free trial today, come in and check out everything that we have to offer. With that, let's just jump right in. We'll start at goalie position. My top goalie tonight, um, with a little bit of a discount on DraftKings, is what the reason I went with him as my top guy. Uh, one of the reasons. He's a minus 200 favorite. we got Ben Bishop at home versus the Edmonton Oilers. Yes, it can be dangerous going up against the Oilers anytime you got Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl out there. Um, they provide somewhere in the range of 45% of all their team's goals, elite players in this league. Edmonton has struggled a little bit lately. They have lost four straight and seven of their last nine games. Um, so this is a spot we can definitely attack. Ben Bishop has been absolutely amazing all season. <clears throat> One of the best goalies in the league, as you can see here. He's got a 933 save percentage, 867 in the high danger area, which is pretty good. Um, he leads that number one Dallas defense. And over his last 10 games, he's gone 6-1-2 and two with a 937 save percentage and one shutout while facing right around 30 shots per game. So you do get that high floor with the shots per game there as well, even though they do have an elite defense. You got the money to pay up. I also don't mind Braden Holtby. I don't particularly in cash games like going with a road goalie, uh, especially when you've got an option who's a little bit cheaper in Ben Bishop. Um, only $400 more on FanDuel. He's at home. He's a bigger favorite. But if you do want to go, uh, Washington has a good you know, win equity. They're only minus 165 favorites. They're facing Columbus 29th ranked offense, which is something I look at, but being that they're on the road, he's my secondary goalie tonight. Hope he also hasn't been um, as good as Bishop on the season, and he's a little bit more expensive there on DraftKings. He's 7-2-1 and one in his last 10 games, 920 save percentage, so he has been a little bit better um, versus his season numbers where he is at a 9-11 save percentage. So he's a little bit of an uptick, but just because of that road factor, I'm putting him at my number two. And then for a bonus here, if you're looking for uh, – you know, maybe load up in cash games with because you've got uh, Ovechkin on this slate, you've got John Carlson on defense, you've got uh, Connor McDavid, but you got a bunch of stars. So for cash games, I'm probably not going that way. But you, you say Swaros for Nashville is expected to start tonight. Um, again, that's going to be another road game. Minus 140 favorite for Nashville, though. The Rangers have struggled offensively at home, so it is a spot you can look to to get a whole bunch of salary savings and really load up at the forward and defense positions if that's the way to go. But again. Uh, that would be GPP only for me. <clears throat> Moving on to center, there's a couple that I'm looking at tonight as my two core plays. And in this in this video, I'm going to kind of look at, like we all know about Connor McDavid, Nathan McKinnon, um, Alexander Ovechkin. So I'm going to kind of give you some value guys I'm going to be looking at as core plays for myself, um, especially in cash games. I play about 80 to 90% of my nightly buy-ins in cash games. So that's kind of um, what I'm really looking at is that high floor on a, on a slate um, any slate for that matter when it, in terms of cash games. So that's what I'm going to share with you. First up is Alexander Barkov, Florida, Ottawa. This is a game we're definitely going to want to get exposure to. It's got that six and a half total expected to be high scoring. Um, we have seen Barkov's price, at least on DraftKings, hover around that 7,700, right around that 8K range um, where we see McDavid and McKinnon right now. So being that we get him at that 7K, 7,600 on FanDuel feels like a a bit of a steal in this matchup against Ottawa, who's obviously been a lot worse on the road. Um, they used to be able to target the Senators in all matchups, but they have been a lot better on home ice lately. So we really want to really attack them when they're on the road. 
So we got Barkoff at home tonight. In his last 10 games, he's only got 7 points, so it's been down a little bit. But he's averaging over 3 shots per game, so the shot volume is definitely there. While he doesn't have points in 3 straight games, he's had 3 or more shots in each of those games. Um, he's skating over 21 minutes of ice time per game in those games as well. Um, so I'm not really worried about the 3-game uh, scoreless streak. Before that, he had points in 5 straight. And like I said, he's got that shot volume. So he's going to be my top guy. A um, little bit more balanced of a lineup build starting with Barkoff and kind of fading that McDavid, McKinnon in cash games. I'll definitely, you know, try and get some exposure, especially to McKinnon in GPPs. But for cash games, I'm going to be going down and starting with Barkov. And then while Nicholas Backstrom, it is a smaller slate. We've only got five games. Um, so th there isn't a ton of value that we can look at. Center's also a tough position to get that shot volume out of. So despite his lack of shot volume, Nicholas Backstrom, um, only 6.8 shots per 60, 10.4 Corsi per 60. And anyone new to that Corsi is just shot attempts. So shots... Per 60 is shots on goal for 60 minutes of ice time. And Corsi 4 per 60, that next column over, um, just think of it as shot attempt. So any shot that hits the net, misses the net, or is blocked counts as a shot attempt. So it's just kind of an overall um, look at the volume coming off a, of a shooter. So Baxter doesn't give you that, unfortunately. What he does give you is a mid-5K price tag, which allows you to easily go up to Barkov uh, to fill your centers tonight. He skates top line with Alexander Ovechkin, so you get that uh, exposure to him in a good matchup against Columbus um, defense, who has uh, struggled here a little bit lately as well. So I'm willing to give up the shot volume in cash games tonight because of the combination of the matchup and the exposure to Alexander Ovechkin in this matchup. <clears throat> Columbus comes in having lost six of their last seven games, and they've given up four or more goals three times in that stretch as well. So I'm definitely looking at Backstrom. Moving on to the winger position, I'm going to start up at the top, and while I do kind of like, or not at the top, sorry, um, in the mid-range here as well, in the sub-6K range on both sides, hard to fade Anthony Duclair right now. Um, it's in this game that we want a lot of exposure to, although I do like Bobrovsky a little bit for GPPs as a goalie, but he has been very up and down. And in terms of shot volume, Anthony Duclair for the price is an elite play, points per dollar play to me, under 6K. Especially on FanDuel here, you see him, he's at 5,100. That is a steal. Um, anytime you're looking at the sheet, I'm going to bold um, the price if one sticks out more than the other. Um, I'll also go in here after I'm done line audits, and I will actually you know, label it as a FanDuel or DK play or both or, or whatever. Um, those notes will be added in there. But back to Declare here, over his last 10 games, he's got 10 points, 8 goals, 2 assists, so he's been an absolute scoring machine. He's got multiple goals in 3 of his last 4 games, and goals in just at least 1 goal in 4 of his last 5 games. But what really stands out, because I'm not really expecting that multi-goal um, upside to continue over and over, although this is a great matchup, I do see that happening tonight. But what I'm looking for is a floor, and that floor is definitely there. Like I said, he's got 38 shots over his last 10 games. Averaging 11.4 sorry, shots per 60 and 18.3 Corsi 4 per 60. So the elite territory is obviously in your 20-plus range when you're talking about shot attempts per 60. You know, you got your Ovechkins, Brady Kachuk's up there, uh, Forsberg, um, Jacob Varana's up there for Washington as well, also a good play. Um, really good, you know, quite a bit above average. You're looking at that 16 um, to 20 range. I'm definitely looking at, and then your below average is kind of yeah, at 15 and below type type thing um, in terms of shot attempts per 60 minutes. So De Declare definitely stands out in this matchup. He's got shot volume. He's got upside. He's got a sub-6K price tag, which leads to a more balanced build for cash games. Um, I will be using him in all formats. <clears throat> and then going a little bit cheaper yet um, to try and tie it all together, what this is going to do is allow you to kind of go and pick one of those studs to pair him with just because we've got so many value plays throughout the video here. Um, Cal Yarncroft is, is, stands out next. He's in the sub 5K range. 4,400 on FanDuel really stands out as well. Again, the shot volume isn't great. Um, it's not in the 11, 10, 9 area, but, you know, 13 and a half shot attempts per 60, 8 and a half shots on goal per 60. So he's converting on quite a few of those. Um, but what really stands out for me is the matchup against the Rangers who have struggled at home defensively. They've struggled overall defensively. And Yarncroft is sitting up there. Um, on the top line with Philip Forsberg. So it gives you that exposure to Forsberg as well. Um, I you know, if I'm using Yarncroft, I'm probably going to go up and pair him with Forsberg, who also gives you 
Um, like I said, talking about Forsberg, he gives you that elite shot volume. Um, so pairing them together allows you to, again, have a nice balanced lineup, two players in a plus matchup, sub 5K range, definitely on my radar in all formats, but especially in cash games tonight. And then moving on to defense, this is a spot I'm on the smaller slate like this. I definitely want exposure to one of these top um, defensemen. Like we've got Roman Yossi, we've got John Carlson, Oscar Kleffbaum's been in that elite territory lately as well. I want one of those three. And for me tonight, I'm going to take Roman Yossi simply because of the $1,100 discount on FanDuel. It's pretty close. I'll probably end up going with Carlson on DraftKings for the extra $200 just because of his elite upside this season. But Overall, um, Yossi is going to be the play for me. 6,300 on Fandle, 7,300 on DraftKings. Provides you an elite floor. He's averaging. Um, when it comes to defense, this is the tab, or sorry, this is the column that I'm looking at is T, blocks and shots. So that's your combined blocks and shots per game. He's in elite territory. Anything over four, I really like to see, gives you a high floor. He's over five, 5.3 5 blocks and shots per game on the season. And over his last 10 games, he's got. 59, so he's averaging 5.9 over the last 10 games. So amazing floor there. He's only given us five points, but that upside is most definitely there. As you can see, he leads all defensemen on this slate with 6.8 scoring chances per 60. So that's that's kind of my upside um, stat that I'm really looking at is the scoring chances and high danger scoring chances. Um, so he gives you the very high upside. He gives you a little bit of a slight discount on FanDuel, and he gives you the upside in here as well. So I'm definitely looking at Roman Yossi, who's my top defenseman points per dollar tonight, especially on FanDuel. And then one I've been mentioning all season, he's been in my skeletons pretty much. Anytime he's on the ice, he's still cheap. The price is starting to come up on DraftKings a bit. Ryan Graves of Colorado, he has been excellent in terms of fantasy. He's at six points, so he's actually given us a little bit more upside than I actually expected from him um, this season. I'm you know, kind of expecting like maybe 20, 25 points in the season. He's already at 12 over 31 games, so I definitely think he can get to that 30-point uh, uh, plateau this season. Wasn't really expecting that, so it's a bit of a bonus. So I do see that price continuing to rise for him, especially with his high floor. Um, he's got 45 shots and blocks combined over his last 10 games, which is just elite territory um, in terms of points per dollar. He's averaging 11.5 DraftKings points over the last... 10 games and then when we uh, go over to FanDuel I think he's right in that same area 13.2 FanDuel points per game as well over his last 10 games and he allows you that savings where you can build a really balanced um, high floor cash lineup. If you have any questions about any of the picks I had any that I didn't have if you want to see my GPP plays my value plays definitely get over get your free trial to rotopros.com get in the slack chat and join me as I update things throughout the day. And we also, uh, Ryan and I also post our top five plays at each position. That's posted about one to two hours before lock as well. Thanks for checking out the video. It's going to be coming every Monday with the Jager Bomb shots of the night. Make sure to like, subscribe to our channel, and get out there and get some green screens tonight. Good luck, everyone.